we finally made it to Cousin's main Lotra truck. Do you remember seeing this on Shark Tank? Hi Sharks, my name is Sabin Lomack. And I am his younger cousin, Jim Salikas. We're here seeking $55,000 in exchange for 5% of our company. You're valuing this business at over a million bucks. Well, you haven't heard a word about the business. Yeah, you have no idea. idea. So we're in the We have 10 trucks. So you, how many trucks do you have? Right now, we have one truck. Ooh. $150,000 of sales. We've been open two months. Two months? You're kind of like halfway in a body bag without the zipper pulled up right now. I'm out. I'm out. It's outrageous what you're asking for. For the sake of lobsters that are still alive, I'm out. I'll give you the 55,000, but I want 25%. Uh, why are you guys holding on so tightly to the equity? Right. You said 5% of something is better than 0% of nothing in the past. And I'm gonna do $55,000 for 15%. Barbara, welcome to the family. Thank you. Come on over here. Well, good evening, folks. This evening, we're going to come to you from Farmville, Virginia. We came down here. It's a food truck that came to town, and we wanted to come try it. Or well, at least I did anyway. This has been featured on the TV show Shark Tank. This is called Cousins Main Lobster. So y'all come along with us as we try out this lobster this evening. Let's take a quick look at the menu. Please pause as needed. Well, Carla decided she's gonna get her some clam chowder. This is one of her favorite soups, so she's gonna get clam chowder. And she's gonna let you know what she thinks of it. I ordered myself the Connecticut roll. This is a lobster roll. Comes with, it's warm with melted butter. And it's served on a, a roll, kind of looks like a hot dog bun almost. So I'm gonna let you know what I think of it. I do love lobster, so I'm looking forward to trying this. Hey Carla, you got the clam chowder. You had a chance to try it. What do you think? It's really good. As you can see, it is real, really thick and creamy. And I also put a lot of crackers in it, pretty much the whole bag. Um, yes, yeah, so with the crackers, it really does taste good. And I like crackers in my soup too, kiddo. Yes. So can you taste the uh, like little pieces of clam in it or? Yes, and when they brung it out, it was also really hot. Yeah, you can see the steam coming up from it. Yes. So, would you recommend this? Yes. Wow, look at that uh, roll there. Yeah, this is mine. You can see that they grilled it on the grill. It's, it's been grilled, and it's a piece of bread. At first, I thought it was almost like a hot dog bun, but it's really, it's a piece of bread. You can see the lobster meat on top of it. So, I'm looking forward to trying this. Mmm, that is delicious. You know I love some lobster, especially when I get a steak. This is good. Got that melted butter on it. I figured it had to be good because they have so many different places all across the United States. And in some states they have, you know, different locations of the trucks that go to like certain areas. Um, Virginia has one truck and it just goes over different places in Virginia. I just wanted to show you some of the lobster meat that's inside of this sandwich. You know, that's a pretty good chunk of meat right there. I know this, this sandwich is expensive, but like I said earlier, lobster is really uh, expensive. So I'm real well pleased with the sandwich. It's got a good flavor. That melted butter really sets it off. And I think I got the right one because this is warm. The cold one was called the main roll. And that, I think I like this one a whole lot better than having the cold lobster. And that also had mayonnaise on the other one. And it I did. And I don't eat mayonnaise, so. So I made the right choice. It's kind of like your shrimp. You like your shrimp hot too, steamed shrimp. Yep. Got dipped in butter, so. Yeah, I figured this would be the sandwich for you. All right, you eating this lobster, you know what it reminds me of? What's that, on the cruise boat? Oh, yes. 
How many lobster tails did you eat on this ship? I think it was about eight of them at night. I think so. You eat one and tell them bring you another. I sure did. You finished this yet? Not yet. You're working. I'm kind of savoring. Here is a look at our receipt from the cousin's lobster truck. Ended up getting one Connecticut lobster roll sandwich and then a bowl of the clam chowder. And the total was $36.73 for both items. I know that's expensive, but you know lobster is expensive, so I knew that before we came here. Well, Carly, what did you think about your clam chowder from Cousins Maine Lobster? My clam chowder was delicious. I extremely loved how hot it was to begin with, because Dad, when he was trying to take off the top, he said it was very, very hot. It was. He couldn't even touch the top, really. And then when I put the crackers in and stuff, I ate it right away, pretty much. In my opinion, it wasn't as hot as he said it was, but that's probably because it cooled down a little. But yeah. You must have really liked that soup because you wanted to get another bowl of it. Yes, I actually did. It was that good. Well, I'm sure I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Now, my Connecticut roll, I really enjoyed that. The lobster meat was very sweet. It was tender. That melted butter on it just gave it a, an excellent flavor. And it was on that piece of bread wrapped up to make a sandwich. I really enjoyed it. The only thing, I just wish I had more. That's how much I enjoyed it. You needed a 12-inch sub of that. Try 24-inch. Well, I know you could eat that. And, you know, you made the comment about the roll, and that's definitely a lobster roll. And I just want to know, are you two ready to hit the road and head on up to Maine and get some more lobster? I'm ready anytime. Yes. Because if, if the lobster is this good down here in Virginia, I can only imagine what it's going to taste like in Maine. And, you know, and that was the whole thing with their business. They wanted to bring you the taste of what it tasted like in Maine to you and fresh. And um, they said at an affordable price, but it's still a little steep. It is a little pricey, but you know, like I said in the intro, I know lobster is expensive and I knew that before it come, but I still, I wanted to try it just to say I tried it. And I sure am glad that they decided to bring a little bit of Maine down here to Virginia. And you know, we saw one of these trucks when we were in Pennsylvania mm -hmm. and they were closing up so you couldn't go and try it and then when you saw they were going to be here today it was like a no-brainer you had to come and try yeah, we it. We definitely wanted to give it a shot to say if we tried it so I'm glad mm -hmm. I did. Go ahead Carla and close us up please. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our latest videos. See you next time. Thanks for watching. God bless. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.